folks, to walk here from GBL, the old church, Five Acre Olmstead. Today we are doing a mail call here on our channel. And here's the first piece of mail that we are going to open. It is a piece of mail from Boda Bob. Folks, Boda Bob has a Kubota a tractor just like we do here at GBL. And we're going to open this piece of mail from Boda Bob very shortly. We also have a piece of mystery mail. We have no idea who sent that to us, but we are going to open it and share it with you as well. Now, let me introduce you to Mr. Gary. <laughs> what do you think of that, folks? What do you think of that indeed? I'm here in front of the old uh, Enterprise wood stove today, getting ready to do a mail call myself and DeWalt. And let's get at it, folks. Let's open these two pieces of mail. What do you think, DeWalt? Should we open that mail? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I'm nuts, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, to open this mail today, folks, I'm using my everyday carry, my Swiss Army knife with a blade, and there's lots of other devices uh, in this Swiss Army knife as well, but we just need to use the pocket knife today. And let's get started with Boda Bob. Boda Bob sent us this piece of mail probably a couple of weeks ago now, and I was waiting for just the right time, of course, and I do think that today is the perfect time to open up this piece of mail from Boda Bob. And let's see what's inside of this uh, envelope. Okay, so we've got some, uh, some gifts from Mr. Bob. Okay, we have some stickers. I'll share them with you in a second. But I want to share first the letter that's attached. It says, Gary, thank you for expressing an interest to share stickers. It's been very fun getting to know new people in the Tractor Olmstead Firewood community. I hope you all have a great 2024. Sincerely, Boda Bob. Enjoy the journey. Cheers. A nice card from my friend, Boda Bob. Thank you, thank you, thank you indeed, Boda Bob. And I want to bring in uh, these stickers that Boda Bob has. Bring them in a little bit close so you can see them. One is uh, probably a four inch uh, round one, and the other one is about two and a half, maybe three inches. Okay, so beautiful, beautiful stickers that I will add to my collection. And very, very soon, folks, when we move to the old church five acre homestead and to the new barn, Mr. Gary will be making a display board uh, for all of the stickers that I have uh, accumulated so far, and I have quite a few, and there's going to be a great, great shout out for all the various uh, YouTube channels that have sent us stickers. So Boda Bob uh, is a great friend of ours. He sent us a couple of stickers, as I said, and I'm going to be getting ready very, very soon to send off a couple of stickers to my friend Boda Bob and a fridge magnet as well. Now. This is a mystery piece of mail. Indeed, indeed, I have no idea who sent this to us. It's addressed to us. Uh, it says GBL, the old church, five acre homestead, 17 Tully Place, Gander, A1V2X1. That is our mailing address. If you would like to send us some stickers or a gift or a piece of secret mail like this. But anyway, without any further ado, let's do the same thing. Let's open this one and see what's inside. Here we go. Now, let's see what's in here. <laughs> okay, Ooh, we have a letter. Oh my goodness, I do know who it is now. Look at that. Here's a few seeds for you to try in your garden this summer. Spaghetti squash. I gathered these from squash that I grew last summer. Winston Osmond. Winston is a lifelong friend of mine. We grew up together on Fogo Island. We share many of the same interests, uh, farming, uh, growing vegetables, raising animals, hunting, fishing, all those fine, fine things. And we do have a love and share a love for Fogo Island, of course. Winston actually does live on Fogo Island. He keeps a farm and besides all of that, the very, very busy Winston Osmond is also a very, very well-established, and excellent uh, visual artist. 
Winston's uh, paintings are absolutely awesome. They are to die for. I'm going to see if I can include a few pictures of Winston's paintings in this video. I don't think he would mind if I do that because, of course, he does have copyright uh, for all of his paintings and you shouldn't be uh, you shouldn't be taking copies of other people's paintings. But anyway, I think Winston wouldn't mind me doing that as a demonstration of the, uh, the fine artwork that he does and I'm going to share that with you toward the end of this video. Okay, so let's see what else I've got here from Winston. Okay, there's the spaghetti squash seeds. Awesome, awesome. Winston, I'm so excited to receive those. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, look at this. Wow, 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 wow. Now, I'm going to share all of this with you, so bear with me. Up on the top, I've got a little bile of Winston, and I'm going to try to bring it in close so you can actually, uh, actually see Winston. That's what he looks like. That's his mug shot. <laughs> and I'm going to read a little bio about him. It says, Winston Osmond is a self-taught artist who was born and raised on Fogo Island. Winston's paintings depict his passion for nature and the tranquility of rural life in Newfoundland and Labrador. Winston also creates many crafts, which include wooden salt box house models and puffins made from mussel shells. Both he and his wife, Linda, bottle a wide selection of jams, pickles, and other homemade preserves, all of which are available at the studio and made from uh, local berries and vegetables from their farm and garden. Okay, here's Linda. Linda is Winston's uh, lifelong wife. And they do have a couple of children as well, all grown up, of course. And here's Linda's bio. Linda Osmond's creativity shows through in her quilts and other products made from both new and recycled fabrics. These creations showcase how something deemed old and useless can be turned into a unique and beautiful piece of heart. Some of the distinct designs that Linda works with include the tea leaf and the heads and tails saltfish. Beautiful, beautiful couple and a couple of great local artists indeed. Winston and Linda also have a heart studio. And they have a gallery where you can go and pick up lots and lots of things at their gallery. You can pick up Linda's quilts and other crafts. You can pick up Winston's art and some of the crafts that he makes as well. And you can also pick up lots and lots of jams and other preserves at their Erin Cove Art. At their Erin Cove Art Gallery and Studio. And that's located uh, in Shoal Bay on Fogel Island. Okay, so if you ever get a chance to visit Fogo Island, you most certainly can uh, pick up a lot of stuff at their studio. Now, they also have uh, a Gmail and a website, so you can also check that out. I'm hopeful you can see the addresses that I'm uh, uh, presenting to you there. And go ahead, of course, and check out that. You can see them online. www.aaroncoveart.com is, uh, is the website. And here's the front. If you look closely, uh, you'll see uh, a picture of the studio, the art gallery. Uh, there's also a picture of Linda's quilt there as well. And actually, uh, the picture of the chickens is actually not a picture of a picture at all. It is a copy of a painting that Winston did. Plus, he's got lots and lots of other great paintings as well. Okay, so there you go. Two pieces of interesting mail in this mail call today. So as I said, folks, two beautiful, beautiful pieces of mail in our mail call today. And uh, we have uh, Boda Bob, of course. Hey, a couple of stickers and a thank you card. And Boda Bob, I'll be sending off some stickers and a fridge magnet to you very, very soon. And of course, this excellent, excellent, very surprised piece of mail from my good friend Winston Osmond out on Fogo Island. Two excellent, excellent, pieces of mail today in this mail call video. Now, before I go, uh, Dwalt would like to say thank you. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. Thank you, folks, and you have a great, great blessed day, and we'll see you very, very soon in another YouTube video on our YouTube channel. And what is that? Uh, my mind is foggy, and I'm having trouble remembering 
DeWalt, what is the name of our YouTube channel? GBL, the old church, Five Acre Olmstead. Goodbye, and we'll see you very, very soon, folks. Take care. Mr. Gary and DeWalt signing out. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks. Thank you indeed.